What is going on, Comfort Killers? I am Stacey A. Cross, and there's no E in my name. I am the founder of the Comfort Killers, and I wrote this little sweet little guide on how to develop yourself, get out of your comfort zone, get momentum, and just like break through anything you want to break through in life. So this book is available right now, and yes, it's on Amazon. So if you have Amazon Prime, get you might as well get it today. You know, they got the same day deliveries over there on Amazon. So today I want to talk about the tough decisions that we all have to make in life because they're uncomfortable to actually go through it. I believe that the reason that we stay in situations that we don't want to stay in and we know we shouldn't stay in is because we are unable to make the decision to actually talk through it with the person, with the environment, with whatever, and get the hell out of there. Okay. We, we're afraid of that because why it's uncomfortable. It is uncomfortable to go to your boss and say, hey, listen, I've been here for six years, okay? <laughs> I've been here for six years. The value that I provide in this company is bar none and really lay it out to, 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 your, to your manager and then say, hey, listen, this is the raise that I want. And it's non-negotiable. It's We're afraid because no one has taught us the right ways to do it. So we take the back route, the back seat, and we're, we're afraid of ourselves. We're afraid of messing up. We're afraid of looking stupid. We're afraid of the sweat. We're afraid of the clammy palms. We're just afraid of it all. And I want you to stop being afraid right now. Cause a part of being a comfort killer is really stepping outside of your comfort zone. It is uncomfortable to, to, to talk. All right. Talk about what you want and put yourself first. It's very uncomfortable to do that. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because there's going to be situations in your daily life. And I know you're probably going through it. Maybe the conversation that you have to deal with and face is with your parents, is with your mama, with your boss, like I said, or maybe it's with your spouse, who knows? So I want you to level up and posture up and be in the best position that helps you out. Now, why would you want to make a decision like this? First of all, because you know what you want. Deep down inside, you know what makes you happy. You know what makes you thrive. You know what makes you smile. You know what makes you cheerful. Anything that comes and opposes that is something that you have to discuss, is something that you have to face. Now, there's a huge word in the Webster Dictionary and in any dictionary, and the word is confront. In order to confront, it's bringing it in. It's, it's You're dealing with problems. You're bringing them in, and you're looking at them. Once you look at a problem, it doesn't hold the same let's say charge as is it did when you, you know, hid from the problem. If you really needed to talk to your boss and you've been avoiding your boss, well, that charge is so bigger each time. It affects you so much more each time that you avoid the conversation that you need to have. So I want to help you break through that right now. First of all, I want to, you to know that it is going to be uncomfortable and it, but second of all, it has to be done. For the sake of your own happiness, it has to be done. My only goal is to ensure that you're living on this path and this life that you enjoy, that makes you happy. And only you knows what makes you happy. I can't be here on my side of the screen, okay, and say, hey, this will make you happy. No, absolutely not. I know it doesn't work that way. You have to know what makes you happy. So the first thing is understanding and seeing, maybe even plotting these down and say, okay, man, this, this situation does not make me happy. Okay. And, and being real with that, this just does not make me happy. The goal in your life should always be to feel good. Where you're not feeling good, there is a problem there. There's someone there. There's a situation there that does not feel right. And you know that. So I just want to make that clear, uh, that you should know what makes you happy and anything that comes across making you happy and making you happy and glad and enthusiastic and proud and, and just, you know, being and living and being free we got to handle that. How do we handle that? We handle that through communication. And I spoke about this in a previous video where we talk about what communication really is and how we actually get through a point across. But today I want to take that a step further and I want to say, how the hell do you go? You going to do it. Okay. How are you going to do it? Say, so let's say, for example, you've had an issue with your spouse. Now, the reason why you have an issue and the reason why there is a problem that comes up is because you have one idea of what something's supposed to look like. And the other person has another idea of what that thing, the same thing's supposed to look like. Now in the middle of that, both ideas, there is a problem because they, it, 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 it separates, right? Well, um, it's like the yin and the yang, cold, cold, hot, you know, white, black, you know? So there, there's two differing scenes here that 
you know, one wants one thing and the other wants another thing. So what you have to do is first to come to the middle. Okay. And, 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 and say, listen, we need to talk about such and such. And you make that clear. Now there's some very key components to this. And it's not just about, you know, being right and being proud and letting your ego get in the way and being forceful and just being angry. That's not the way to handle any type of communication. The one thing that works and that I've seen work over and over is in form of communication is to listen. The most, the most vital part, most important part of communication is the how well you listen because in the listening techniques, you could pick up points where it differs from yours or pick up points where you could easily compromise on pick up points where it's just totally absurd and you could actually clear up. There's a lot of things that people say, and I just had a conversation with someone today and he said, you know what, the way I got the message, this is how the message came across. And I had to say, okay, I hear that. I understand now that's why you feel the way you feel, but that's not how I sent the message. And, and I took, I took it on myself. It's my fault. I didn't communicate this message clearly enough for you to understand exactly what I was meaning to say. And that might've been the, the confusion and the doubt. All right. So now that you get the idea that you have to listen, you have to be able to be on that side, to listen and be interested in what the other person is saying. How do you communicate your aspects of it? Because again, you're uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> you know, you, you don't want to say the wrong things. You don't want to upset the person, but you know, you have to get some points across. Well, before you get into any form of communication, really play it out in your head. You have to play it out in your head. Okay. And you have to play it out in your head to a point where you are actually getting your point across and the other person, big word here, understanding. Now that's the main part of communication. It's very important that you listen, but it's very important that there is an understanding and an understanding the person will come across and say, okay, you know what? I, I truly get how you could feel like that, or I truly get how you uh, would want something to be different. Um, and, and, and the, un through the understanding comes the part where you could really be yourself and say, Hey, listen, this is not working for me, or this is what I signed up for, or this is what I would like us to come to agreement on. These things are very important, but I believe that through communication, we always feel like we got to talk, we got to be there, but the listening part of it, and I forgot to mention that in my last video, the listening portion of communication will be the best portion because through that you could develop understanding. Okay. Understanding. Now, in terms of what is the outcome of this communication, set that up, it frame it out and set that up in the communication itself. What I want to get out of this communication is a, you know, um, getting a raise. What I, what I'm getting out of this communication is that a I'm leaving or I'm, I'm going to, you know, be, uh, in a different situation or you want to get out understanding or you want to get out of compromise, whatever you want. you got to put that out there first initially so that everything, every part of the communication only focuses back on that task at hand. Now it doesn't go wild because communication can easily get wild, but it's a tough decision to really get uncomfortable. I know this. Okay. And I want you to know that I know this. And as part of being a comfort killer, living a comfort killer lifestyle is that you have to talk, you have to talk, you have to listen, you have to communicate it. You have to really put yourself first and, 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 and know what makes you happy and unhappy and knowing exactly how to communicate your point across. All right. That's very important. You've got to communicate your point across. Okay. So that's all I have for you today. I'll try to keep up with this. Okay. And give you more, but I'm telling you all the information that I'm talking about is in this thing, your journey to success. It's a book for comfort killers. If you want to get into the comfort killing lifestyle, go ahead and go purchase this book on Amazon. I'll have a link below. 
you guys go out there, enjoy your day, make it great. Go over to the Comfort Killers website. There's tons of activity going on on the Comfort Killers website. And you can always read an article, listen to a podcast, or get involved in the Comfort Killers Academy where you can get a, an abundance of videos and audios and different techniques, tools, and strategies, resources to help your growth on your journey to success. I am Stacy A. Cross, and there is no E in my name.